This is the programming a drum beat into MIDI workstation video. And I wanted to do a video on this to show you how easy it is to make a drum beat in MIDI workstation. And you can make these drum beats as intricate as you want. And it's just so easy. And you can run them through any sound module that you have. I'm going to run this uh, through my S80. I've got a bunch of drum kits on it that are they're good. They work nice. And you could run this through a VST instrument, like a BFD, and, and use that to generate your sounds. So let's get started. And it's going to be a drum beat uh, that has uh, 100, let's make it a 140 beats per minute. And let's, it's a 4-4 beat. And we will turn on the grid mode, and our note, our grid note, uh, the no, the length of the notes are going to be quarter note. So we have that set up, right? Now I'm going to go select my sound from my S80 keyboard. I have this all set up, and it's going to be the rock kit. So now the rock kit. And you see, when I selected that, it automatically selected the port and the channel. So it's in, once you have this all set up, you know, you have your patch library set up. I want my S80. There's my drum kits. It's all set up. And watch those videos and get it all set up because all I had to do was go in there and select it, and boom, it selected the port and the channel, and it's done. Now I can copy that those entries right here by selecting these two channels and right clicking and copying settings to selected tracks so okay my three tracks my this will be my kick my snare and my open hi-hat to get that I'm gonna make a little 4-4 beat like the ACDC drummer did so many times to make and they used it on a billion different songs that were awesome okay so we have that now we can name our tracks let's clear that with a right click let's uh, Control, left click, kick, snare, oh, let's get a capital there, snare, and hi-hat. And we'll go back up here, we'll start right here so you can see it better. Now, I need to find my sound on my keyboard. There it is, right there. So I'm going to step record those right, right in. And I know my bass is right there. I just added my bass. Now I'm going to come down. I'm going to get my snare. Oh, wait. I don't want my snare there. Sorry about that. Let's go here. Let's undo that. I select it and delete it. Now I want my snare to be one, two. That's where I want my snare to be. And there's my snare. Now I go down, go back. Here's my hi-hat. Let's get out of here so we can find our hi-hat sound. Open hi-hat, there it is. So I'm gonna get my hi-hat in there. And that should be good enough. Now. I'm going to go down here and now I'm going to go to select mode and I'm going to press control backspace get another one in there control backspace okay I got my four in there I'm using the control backspace and see I just uh, that's one way of doing it there's a bunch of different ways of doing it but I, I enter in my my fork see cause when I build a drum beat. I, I drilled it, I, I build it by one measure at a time. So this is one, this is, this is going to be the drum beat for one measure and then I can copy and paste this drum beat, this measure, anywhere I want. I can repeat it five times, six times, three times. And now if I have variations in that measure, I'll make a measure of that fill or that variation. That's just the way I do it. You can do any way you want. Okay, so now I can go out of select mode. I'm going to go up right up here and see I have my grid mode on so I can 
select here. I select one measure. Now, see where the cursor is? Right there. I'm going to use the, the snap, the copy, snap feature, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to hold the control key down and backspace. Backspace. I'm just holding the control key down. Backspace, 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 backspace. Eh, that should be good enough, right? Now I'm going to go down, go home. I'm going to select my snare. Okay, one measure. See where the cursor is right at the beginning of the next measure. Control, backspace, backspace, backspace. As many times as I just did it. There we go. Go down, go home. Now I got my, my, my hi-hats. One measure full of hi-hats. Open hi-hats. And see where the cursor is. See, the, the snap is going to snap it right there. Over and over and over and over and over. Oh, okay. We went one too, too far. I can just erase that. Press the C key, control, and go back. And I believe we are ready to hear our drum beat. That is it. How simple, how simple can it be? And now if I wanted to make variations, I could do it. I could do it, you know, very simple. And I can change the tempo. I can tempo map this out and have it change the tempo after five bars to, you know, whatever I want. You know, you can do anything you want. It's very, very simple. I can change the, the velocity and the everything. And that's how easy it is to make a drum beat in Saw Studio. So learn it, get to know it. It's so simple, so simple.